Uh, hello everyone, welcome back uh, to today's video. I'm going to talk a little bit more about Linux Mint. Um, and today we want to talk a little bit more about enabling Linux Mint to do the stuff you're normally used to. Okay, so this is just a quick setup guide. You can always configure it on yourself, but this is this is what I use. So we talked about uh, word processing in the last few videos about using Microsoft Word, LibreOffice, and TechMaker. So I kind of skipped the part of Excel and PowerPoint since, uh, yeah, uh, that one, no, I, I don't use it as much. I'm pretty sure some of you do, and I'm pretty sure there are some other fixes for it, but that's, that's uh, just something I skip because I you know, uh, just want to run you through the quick setup guide. Uh, or quick setup, you know, um, the quick setup that I use, all right? So, I have not played around too much with Excel or VBA code, so that's another thing to do. But at least, you know, I'm going to cover the most basics that probably all of us will need. Today, I want to talk about cloud services. Cloud services as in Google Drive, OneDrive, etc, etc. How do you set this up in Linux? Okay, um, okay so the thing is... Uh, when you try to set these up in Linux, it doesn't. You have to manage your expectations. You know, um, if you want uh, some an experience like what you uh, do on Windows, where you drag everything into a folder, um, and everything is just auto synced for you, uh, you might have to pay uh, for some of these services, or you might work really really hard to write your own code. Okay, or find find workarounds to make this thing work. Okay, some of these links are over here in sync and over drive. All right, so these are uh, good for Google, but you do have to pay them. Can range anywhere from $5 to $30 and up. I can't remember the prices exactly, but uh, these are the easy workarounds if you want to do them. But I personally, uh, I don't think I want to pay any more than I have to since I already paid for crossover. Okay. And of course, if you don't like, okay, if you don't like any of these uh, uh, things, compatibility issues, you can always use a virtual machine if you have enough RAM and not the know-how. Uh, virtual machine means you can run Windows inside of Linux. That, uh, that's another story altogether. But uh, if you don't want to use virtual machine, uh, you can listen to this video and you can see what you can do about it. Alright, so what are the free services to enable Google Drive? The easiest one is R Clone. Okay, one of the videos is here. Well, you can use a few things to install. You can use sudo apt install R Clone. Okay, and the GitHub and the manual is here. It is open source. It's an open source way of using Google Drive. However, again, I must warn you, it is not. It is not uh, very much like what you're used to. You have to manually sync your folders up and down. Okay? So, you can either use this sudo app install our clone, or you can go to your software manager in Linux Mint or Linux Mint Debian Edition. Okay, it should work for both. Alright? Uh, and you should be able to install our clone. So, after a while, it, uh, it turns up. Let me see my system usage. Okay, three and a half gigs. Well, that's a very running lots of stuff in the background. Oh yeah, Firefox is taking up my resources, and I'm recording a video. Okay, so yeah. Anyway, VirtualBox is actually the virtual machine thing I was talking about. You can go ahead and install that if you are uh, interested in using uh, some other operating system like Windows, or you can even run another uh, version of Linux in this. So you can run Linux in a virtual box not an issue all right um but next next let's take a look at what we want to look at it's our clone so our clone is this one uh which is uh you can just download uh, our sync for commercial cloud storage you can download this straight off the uh, software manager and it will be very quickly installed on the computer of course you can install it from your command line using this sudo app install our clone though i personally prefer software manager since everything is uh, no 
uh, more integrated into the system and it auto configs for you pretty well so uh, that's what you do with it so how then do you start to use our clone well there are some instructions and YouTube videos online they already tell you how to do it and it's pretty straightforward so I mean I'll, I'll just I'll just tell you how straightforward it is okay so to enter the R clone main menu you you type R clone config okay so R clone config will tell you the main menu and what you will see here is this thing called current remotes now when you just install R clone there won't be any current remotes I added Google my own personal Google Drive as the remote here so what is this thing what is this remote and what is that uh, this this terminology is used to say okay when I store things on the cloud okay when I store things on the cloud uh, that that computer or server which I'm uploading all my stuff to is known as here I mean ver put very simply that's where what this thing is talking about it is the remote because uh, you are you are storing your files off-site off your computer in a remote location if you want to think about it that way okay so uh, the remote uh, when you talk about remote in our clone it is talking about the the uh, the place where you're storing your files okay so okay let's say let's say you want to install uh, Google Drive okay Let's say you want to install Google Drive or OneDrive or whatever. Okay, so when you're in this uh, R clone menu, okay, uh, okay, uh, just familiarize you. You take a look at this R clone config in the command line. It will get you into this command line, uh, other command line interface, which tells you, okay, I can start installing R clone. So um, it'll say here, edit existing remote. You might not need to use this yet. This is new remote. Okay, and then this one is uh this one is if you don't have any remotes. This one's to delete remote, uh, which means that okay, let's say I don't want this anymore. I'll just press D, and then you just press number one, and then you press enter. Okay, but uh, I don't want that. Okay, exit. Okay, quit. Okay, never mind. If you want to quit the whole thing, just press Control C. So I'm going to R clone config again. Okay, so if you want to quit R clone, you either press Control C, which will quit everything, or you just press Q, which uh, I personally prefer. So Control C stops the whole code from running, but uh, I prefer Q. It, that's a safer, so-called safer way because Control C is like a force quit. It will shut everything down, and I don't know if you have unsaved work or something, then uh, it will. It may be a little bit buggy. Okay, so that's that's my personal opinion, and I think uh, yeah. Alright, so let's say you want to set up a new remote, just press N. You can give it a new uh, new name. Let's say you want to do OneDrive, for example. Okay, so uh, after you type that, you will be led to this menu, so to speak. So the first one is uh, Amazon Cloud Drive, and then you have Amazon S3, Backblaze, or you can even, even add your Dropbox here. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, Google Drive is number seven. It's Okay, this is not Google Cloud Storage because it says here this is not Google Drive, not Google Drive. Uh, so go for the one that says Google Drive, which is number seven if you want Google Drive. For Microsoft OneDrive, you will use the number 10. It may differ from uh, update to update. They may add new, uh, new uh, cloud services there because you can see it's always, uh, it, looks, it looks stated in alphabetical order. So the order may change. But this is pretty straightforward. So uh, if you want Microsoft OneDrive, just press 10 and you just follow the instructions. The client ID it says leave blank normally. So we'll just leave it blank, leave blank normally, whatever. Okay, uh, if you want, and I would say here is the remote configuration. It is where you will start to say, hey, uh, I'm going to start uh, logging you in to your Microsoft OneDrive account. So that will open this up my uh, Microsoft OneDrive account which again I will not show you because uh, yeah this is my account so now once you are done with this just close this okay so you, you sign in and it says go back to our clone to continue so you can see it's a very very uh, simple thing so you will see a bunch of code here 
which is saying, okay, I have configured the remote correctly. All right. They say, yes, this is okay. And there you go. Your remote is set up. The OneDrive remote. If I want to delete it, then I'll just press D and I'll put OneDrive and the remote is deleted. So that's, that's how you set up your remotes. Okay. Okay, now that you have done this, uh, let's say uh, you have done this, you have configured, okay, which remotes I'm doing, okay, uh, then what, what do you do now? How do you start syncing your folders? Okay, so the two things I kind of want to bring you, introduce you to, these are uh, two main commands you'll be using. Okay, two main commands you'll be using, one is called rclone copy, the other one is called rclone sync. Okay. So these are the basic usage of our clone. All right, so um, let's do this. Okay. Uh, all right, let's say, let's say there is some folder you want to, the new Google Drive folder that you want to uh, copy from online. So I'm going to get to my Google Drive and I will show you this, how this R clone sync works. Okay, so I will make a new folder here. So I will call this the test folder, test folder, test folder. All right. After this, I will just delete it. This is just for demonstration purposes. All right. This is the test folder for R clone. All right. Uh, and I will just open this in terminal. Okay. And let me go to Google Drive and find a random folder to sync. So I'm going to fast forward that part. So, uh, so this is uh, this is where my, some of my notes are for, for example, uh, thermal hydraulics heat transfer and fluid mechanics video. Okay, so that is one of the folders, or I can even look at, okay, my YouTube presentations. This is this is where where my stuff is uh, located. Now let's say you want to uh, uh, sync this folder with this test folder, right? I want to do this entire folder here. So the good thing about our clone is that you can choose which folders to sync and which folders not to sync. You don't have to take your entire Google Drive and copy and paste it into your computer. You might want to do that, but you can see my Google Drive is like 9.5 gigs. I don't want to do everything. And sometimes with the uh, shared folders and Google Docs, it may be a little bit more troublesome. So I'll just bring you through the basic ones first. Okay, so uh, let's see, let's go to this here. Okay, so now let's say you have a remote. Okay, if you forget what the remotes are, so for example, if you want to sync from your Google Drive and you forgot what you name your Google Drive as, you can just uh, press our, con our clone config and it will show you Google Drive. All right, so I'm gonna quit. So I will then do our clone sync. Okay, I'm going to type where I want to sync from. So I want to sync from Google Drive because this is my remote name. Then uh, press a colon. Now if I if I just do this, if I just do the Google Drive colon, the whole folder will be the whole Google Drive folder will be synced into my test folder here. Okay? Or I'm what I'm syncing is the whole Google Drive folder. Okay, and I don't want to do that. So what I want to do is Okay, I'm going to specify the specific folder and uh, just be careful of the name. So let's say I want to copy my YouTube folder in. Okay, YouTube folder, YouTube. So you have to spell exactly as it is here, YouTube. And I want to see, I want, uh, let's say, the thermal hydraulics and heat transfer. So. Because you see the thing with uh, Linux is that uh, you have all these spaces which are a little bit troublesome. So to deal with all these spaces and special characters, use the uh, sub apostrophe or, or something like that. Uh, this, this symbol that you see here, use that to say, okay, everything inside is one string of text. Okay, so I'm going to just type thermal hydraulics, heat transfer and fluid mechanics okay so that's what uh, the folder that I want where do I want to sync that into I want to sync it here so let's try 
So it's going to run the syncing process and let's see what it, our clone is doing. You can see that everything is being downloaded here. Okay, so everything is being downloaded into this folder, this test folder. Okay, so that means this test folder is going to be so-called synced with uh, this folder here. Okay, so you can see there are like what a few files here. Okay, a few files here. So uh, they are all copied into this this place, and you can see that the R clone syncing process is complete. Now let's say I want to uh, you know upload some files. Okay. So let's say, uh, let me make an empty document and it can be a, a text file or, or whatever file. So uh, random one, two, three. Okay, uh, random one, two, three, and that will be my text file, which I want to do. I'll just say random one, two, three. Okay, um, let's say I want to uh, sync I mean, copy this up or sync this up. Again, my R clones, uh, my syncing process will be this. Okay, uh, I will type R clone sync Google Drive. Okay, I will upload. So where do I where do I want to sync from? So I want to. Um, I'll say this test folder is the new location. All right. So I want to update Google Drive from this file, from this folder. So what do I do? I'll do R clone sync. I'll press dot for because this is the folder I want. It's a desktop test folder. Then I will type the rem uh, Google Drive location. Google Drive, YouTube. Be sure to uh, give it all the correct, uh, what do you call it? Correct uh, syntax. Oh, sorry. I press control C. So let me do it the other way around, much easier. Okay. So I'm not going to type everything out again. So this is how you do it. Uh, I just replace, I put the dot first. So the dot is where you want to sync, uh, where, where, which is the folder that you want uh, to be, you know, the correct folder, the latest folder, so to speak. So the first entry, when you type our clone sync, then you type latest folder, then you type the place where you want to uh, put all your files, okay? All right, so what I do is this, okay? Our clone sync, and I type this, okay? And let's see whether random one, two, three appears here. Okay, so random one, two, three has appeared here, all right? So now, now I say, okay, good. Now you know how to sync uh, random one two three uh, up and down from our clone so I if I don't want this file I will just press remove and okay let's say I remove this file I don't want random one two three anymore so what do I do uh, I sync from the cloud to the local computer so let's let's try syncing from the cloud to the local computer again so our clone sync Google Drive YouTube blah 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 and you type the destination folder as this desktop test folder. Let's see what happens. So as you can see here, our clone sync actually deleted uh, our random one, two, three file. So this is the absolute basic usage of how to use our clone. Uh, you can see it is not as straightforward as say, you know, you drag everything into a, a folder and everything is auto sync for you. You, you have to do a little bit of setup first in order to do this uh, syncing process, okay? But our clone allows you to uh, select which files you want to sync and which you do not, but this is the absolute, most absolute basic usage, okay? Uh, after that, uh, yeah, there are other commands as well. One more I want to introduce you, but uh, it's getting to like 20 minutes soon, uh, so I, I don't want to take too much time. So I'll stop here and I'll say thanks for watching. Uh, see you guys again. Bye-bye.